we have Demi Lovato being non-binary and changing pronouns to they, them. My take on this, I don't think it's my place to like gatekeep whether or not people can or can't be trans and change their pronouns. That's something only they can do. I don't know. I personally just think that that's not it's not my place to do that. If someone says they're trans, they're trans, right? I, I really don't detect any malicious intent from this. And they even said that they're not like a spokesperson for the, you know, non-binary community and that they're just doing their thing. I don't know. It could be for attention, but it, I'm not going, I don't know. I don't know Demi Lovato. I don't know them personally. So, I, if they want to go by they them, that's how I'm going to treat them. It's it's that simple. Now, so there were some trans people upset about this. I don't really agree with them. And then there were, of course, a lot of cis people upset. And so today we're going to focus on Candace Owens and how she's upset. And yeah, we have a few screenshots announcing that your pronouns are they them is just poor grammar. I don't care your reasons. Please stop trying to make low academic achievement a thing. Okay, so this is like a troglodyte level take. Like, this is, this is like you're on the level of you're a creature that when you get hungry, you just will eat your own shit. Like, you just don't, you're just not cognizant of other things around you, other things to eat in this analogy. You'll just, you'll just eat your own shit. <laughs> and I feel like that's kind of the thing with Candace Owens of being a person of color. Who's also a conservative, um, that that's kind of a really big grift. And I feel like when you peddle your bullshit for long enough, there's a good chance that you'll start to take it in and actually believe it. And I think that she genuinely thinks that they, them, singular they, them, is is bad grammar. When that's not the case, this shit has been going on since, like, Shakespearean times. Uh, singular they is a generic third person singular pronoun in English. Use of the singular they is endorsed as part of the APA style because it is inclusive of all people and helps writers avoid making assumptions about gender. Although usage of singular they was once discouraged in academic writing, many advocacy groups and publishers have accepted and endorsed it. So it is academically accepted. But there's also a history. There's also history of it. Singular they has become the pronoun of choice to replace he and she in cases where gender is of where the gender of the antecedent, the word for the pronoun refers to, is unknown, irrelevant, non-binary, or where gender needs to be concealed. It's the word we use for sentences like everyone loves his mother. We would just say everyone loves their mother, right? And this would refer to one person. But that's nothing new. The Oxford English Dictionary traces singular they back to 1375, where it appears in the medieval romance, William and the Werewolf. Except for the old style language of the poem, its use of singular they to refer to an unnamed person seems very modern. Here's the Middle English version. Hastily, I don't know what the fuck that says. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm not even going to try to read that. <laughs> you get the you get the idea. Uh, singular they is a thing. OK, Oxford English Dictionary. Um, I think this would be very academic, Candace. So, yeah, no, this is extremely grammatically correct. And for Candace to just so proudly be so fucking wrong it's just it's just hilarious to me like I, I don't feel like you would ever do this on purpose because you're grifting just be this blatantly wrong I think you genuinely have to be ignorant and kind of stupid to be able to pull some shit like this but 
you know, it gets 50k likes. F- fucking crazy. I am not going to start referring to individual people as they. I am deeply sorry that I am not sorry. Okay, that's Oh, okay. Some of us have to fight for sanity. <laughs> You could join that battle by subscribing to the daily. So then she shills. And this was a quote tweet. If you don't like they, them pronouns, don't make English grammar your excuse. The singular they is not a, a new construction and it dates back hundreds of years. Literally, literally called out. And she's just like, no, I'm not going to do that because I'm not insane. I don't know how you go from, oh, this is, this is grammatically incorrect to being told, no, it actually is grammatically correct. It's been that way for hundreds of years. And then saying that you're the one trying to maintain sanity. I I feel like you just don't have it. I feel like you just don't have sanity gone. Frenzy meter up. (laughs) Like just, (laughs) okay. America is actually such an accepting society that because coming out as gay and lesbian no longer inspires hatred, the left moved the goalpost to coming out as bad English, bad English pronouns, so they could call people who enjoy the English language bigots so desperate. A cool thing about celebrities coming out as non-binary is that I don't give a fuck. I mean, I don't really give a fuck either. It's not, it's not super important to me. For some people... It makes them feel more comfortable to come out. And for that, all about it. Love that. Love that for them. For me, I just don't really care about celebrities in general. So whatever they do is just not something I'm, I'm really interested in. I'm more interested in the dumb shit Candace Owens is doing. She goes back to saying that uh, it's bad. It's bad grammar. And she thinks that the left has this whole plan where like we're just looking for any excuse to call people bigots when that's just not the case like we don't want bigots right we don't we we don't want to increase the threshold of requirements to become a bigot we want to like if you're a bigot you're something very specific right we want it we want less people to be bigots. The less people that are bigots, the better. That's kind of the idea here. So so it's like wrong on multiple levels. One, it's not bad English. And two, we're not doing this to have an excuse to call people bigots. We're doing this because we identify differently. And for Candace, that's just oh, identifying differently? I, I don't fucking get it. And she also acknowledges that gay and lesbian people don't have as much of like a stigma against them when coming out. And that's because we've made a lot of social progress to make it that way. And so now the conservatives target is trans people because gay people have been the center of attention and they've kind of won the legal battle and the the battle for social capital trans people just didn't have that as much as they do now now it's like a real fucking big civil rights case and that's just how there's no reason one issue came before another like that's just how things happen um like with just racial civil rights the the battle for that is mostly done but there's still a shit ton to do but like I guess you would say the golden age of that civil rights movement is is kind of in the past. It's kind of, I mean, not too far in the past. Like, I remember Vosh talking about this, how they would purposefully make photos of, like, Martin Luther King and shit, like, black and white when they're actually in color because it makes it seem like it was so long ago when you make it black and white and it makes it seem like, Oh, there is no racial problems when no, he's a dude. He's there. He's in full color. Like this wasn't that long ago. There's still so much to do. And, uh, I don't know. I'm rambling a little bit. I think we get the point 
of this segment. Candace Owens cringe, uh, very unintelligent, claims to be uh, a proponent of academia, but is just the exact opposite and doesn't know what the hell she's talking about. So, uh, yeah, congratulations, uh, Candace Owens, for running around like a chicken with the head cut off. Mm-hmm.